I love Dashing Diva nails. I'm going to show you how I make them last. And my nails stay healthy. The thumbnail picture of this YouTube video are my nails that you can see on that thumbnail. When I wear these, they protect my nails from chipping, breaking, splitting, peeling. They just completely protect my nails. I can slam my hands into the car while I'm, you know, like slam my hands onto things because I do it all the time because I'm so clumsy and nothing happens. The minute I take them off, I start breaking my nails. So I love these and I've learned how to put them on properly and how to make them last. And I wanted to share that with you. Yes, this is a scrapbooking channel, I know, but uh, we need to take care of our nails, so here we go. These do not ruin your nails. These um, don't use a glue, they have an adhesive, so they, um, as long as you remove them properly, your nails will look great with or without them. Um, this is how I get my nails to last 13 days on average. So, I usually put these on at night after I shower and wash my hair. Then I don't wash my hair for two days. <clears throat> but that's how I always do it. I don't wash my hair for two days, wash my hair, don't wash my hair for two days. That's how I do my hair. Um, you're, you might take a week or you might wash your hair every day. But what I do is I take a shower at night, wash my hair, and then I get ready to do my nails, okay? After my nails are done, I go to bed and now they are not getting wet for at least eight hours while I sleep. If you have to do them in the middle of the day, wear dish gloves and don't get your hands wet for at least four hours if possible. No lotion after you put these on for eight hours and avoid getting oils on your nails while you're wearing them if possible. <coughs> Excuse me, I have like something that's climbing up my throat here. <laughs> it sounds disgusting, oh my gosh, okay, shh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm just so excited. I think it's because I ate a bunch of pizza and ranch. <laughs> so I'm getting a little flummy here, but let me try my tea. <clears throat> okay, so first you will want to file and shape your nails as desired. I either use this little Revlon, you know, metal nail file Sometimes I will use my glass nail file I got from Amazon. I will put that link below after I film the video. Um, but this, these are really good for just getting the shape that you want for your nails. I already did that. Um, and then you will want to push back your cuticles gently. Do not go crazy here. You can really do some damage. Um, I learned that if I don't feel anything catch while I barely, I'm not putting any pressure down. I'm just touching the nail and I'm barely pushing here. I feel like I need to zoom in a little. Let me do that real quick. How does that look? Let's see. <clears throat> Gosh, I hope I can cut that out. Okay, yeah, that's better. Okay, <laughs> if you're watching, I'm so sorry for all the hacking. I don't know, I don't know what that is. Okay. So again, just very, very gently. You're not pressing in, you're not, you know, scraping your nail. You just, if nothing catches, if you're not feeling anything, then that cuticle is fine. Sometimes I'll feel a little something there and I know that that needs to be pressed back. And the reason why you wanna do this is so that the nails will adhere better. If there's a little bit of skin or something here, a little bit of cuticle, what will happen is these guys won't stick as well. You'll notice they come off in a day or two. And there's people who are like, this, these don't work. All it is is the prep, just like painting, just like um, tanning, self-tanner. I was reading, it's all about the prep. So that's what these are. These nails are all about the prep. So as long as all your cuticles feel like there's nothing catching, which I did do earlier, that's why I went through that quickly, then you're ready to go. Um, then you will want to wash your hands with dish soap as it is the most drying and we don't wanna leave any oils, essential oils on the nails. 
please don't use dish soap if you have a dry skin issue or your doctor says, you know, be careful, whatever. Listen to your body and listen to your doctor. Use dish soap if you can. Um, and then dry your hands, which I did that as well before we got on here. And then um, what you wanna do is you wanna lightly file the top. So I use this kind of a nail file for this. If, um, if I were to use either one of these, I feel like they'd be a little too rough on the nails. You're not trying to, you know, jackhammer them down or anything crazy. You're just roughing them up enough so that the adhesive will have something to stick to. That's all, you don't need to go crazy here. Just a little bit. And I had done all my nails except these two, just to kind of show you how healthy my nails look. I put Dashing Diva nails on all the time. I'll give them a day or two in between sets to let them kind of have a break. I don't know, they say to do that, I don't know why. So I do, but these last two nails, I haven't filed the top of it. And you know, they're pretty healthy. Um, I do have thicker nails, but I do have dry nails that easily chip and peel and split and all these things. And it's just, uh, it's just annoying when I don't have anything on to protect them. For a long time, I did gel nails. And the gel nails take a while, but they were worth it because they would last. But then they would take a while to remove the gel polish. So either the salon or at home, it was just such a time consuming process. And my husband would be like, are your nails done yet? And I'd be like, no, 20 more minutes. You know, it's just, it's a whole process. These take me 10 minutes. They take me 10 minutes to put on. They take me, I don't even know, five minutes to take off. So, you, and then you're ready to go. You put them on and you can go, you can go do stuff. You don't want to get your hands wet, but that's it. You can do anything and you don't have to wait for any, you can go to bed. Can you imagine going to bed with wet nails? No, okay, so that's done. Now, after you roughed up the tops of your nails gently, um, you're going to get these out and you're going to pick your sizes. So this, they have three different lengths, actually they have four different lengths, but the long, long ones are a glue and I haven't used those. They're short, medium, and long that have the adhesives on them. Um, and this is their, their French manicure set. I've used all different colors. I've used all different sizes. Uh, I absolutely love these. And I decided to do French manicure for, I don't know. My husband didn't like the navy blue I had on. He said it looked evil. <laughs> and it, I loved it because it's this cool navy blue and it was matte. So it just, I loved it so much. So you will get in your in your little nail kit, you'll get a little nail file, you'll get uh, alcohol wipe, a bunch of nails obviously, and then a cuticle stick and instructions. I'm, I don't need that because we did our cuticle pushing back situation already. Now I will take my alcohol wipe. So we, you know, we file the nails the shape we want. We gently push back cuticles, wash hands with dish soap, file the tops with lightly with the nail file to rough them up and then we do the adhesive or excuse me the alcohol wipe and you're just you're just going to sort of you know get anything off that could still be there maybe there's some stuff from that nail file obviously that we just did maybe there's some you know a little bit of oils who knows but this is very important that you take the alcohol wipe and you can either pick out your nails before you do the alcohol wipe and then let them dry and then put them on or you can do the alcohol wipe and then pick out your nails so two well i don't even know how many things here let's just i know my sizes okay because i've been doing this for a long time and i need my glasses <clears throat> and i need some tea <clears throat> Okay, these have the sizes written on them. Uh, this, actually, this set doesn't. Every once in a while, a set will come and the sizes aren't there. Hmm, <laughs> this will be fun. Okay, well, anyway, usually the sizes are there and you will set out your nails. Um, let me see if I can, let me wipe this down because my nail file stuff is here. Okay, so I know that they usually come in a certain order, 
So I'm gonna get another set out so I can see what that order is. Yes, okay, so this set is uh, a medium and these are more rounded with the really cute little designs. Um, so the order that they usually come in, I can barely see the numbers, so six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's really helpful. So this is probably a six, this is probably a seven, and this is probably an eight. And I wear all three of these, but this way. And then my pinky is, this is 10, pretty sure. I'll size those in a second just to make sure. And then how did the thumbs go? We are looking for number one. So number one is here and up here. That should be ones. We'll, we'll check in a second here. Okay, that's really helpful. Uh, and then where's the four? The, I need the five. Five, I might like, my video might turn off because I have like a 30 minute time limit because I have a free plan, I don't know. Hopefully we can get this in in time. Oh, I don't see five. Oh, that's six, seven, eight again. Okay, we'll have to figure, we'll just have to size them then like I never knew my size yet. Okay, here we go. Most of the stuff that we just did will be super helpful to you because that's the prep. That's the reason, that's how you keep them staying on. Okay, now let me tell you another really important tip that I have discovered. Lots of times you'll look at the nail and you go, oh, that's the size of my nail right there, right? It fits, but that nail is actually too big. It's going to look fake. It's going to look cheesy. It's, it's just too big, okay? Because what happens is, is you push it down and now it spreads out over the nail and it's gotten wider. So that's not what you want. This is actually gonna be my middle finger, which is a lot bigger than my pointer. As you can see, this guy will fit here. So it, as you put it on, you're like, oh, this is kind of too small maybe. But as you press it down, it's going to spread out. And that is a key thing. Most people don't, you, you see people with press on nails and it's obvious they just look like these big almonds or these big mounds and it's just covering, almost covering their skin. The nail salon does not paint right up to the skin. They leave a little tiny gap here and because otherwise the nail polish will puddle right here and gather. So you don't want that. It would look really fake. It looks too big and the nail salons don't do it either. So why should we, right? So this is a number seven, I believe. That looks right. And the other tip is do your thumbs last because you're pushing these down. You want to push them down. Once you put them on, pressing them down will also help them stick longer. But since you're using your thumbs to press down, you don't wanna have your nail on already. It's not that big of a deal, but it's a tip I saw somewhere. Okay, so let's at least get one hand done before my time runs out. I, hope it, I think, well, we have, we have a few minutes. Okay, so here is the adhesive. This little tip right here is actually where the cuticle goes. Obviously it's clear on this nail because you know that a French manicure, the tips are there, but sometimes it might not be clear. So where the, um, the little tab is hanging off, that's your cuticle line. That's the spot it goes. And what I do is I peel that off and I just try to hold the very end of the nail and you're gonna wanna get it right up against the cuticle, not like into the cuticle, but right there. You don't want a gap because that gap will create a, a space where your hair will catch. When you're washing your hair, brushing your hair, styling your hair, your hair will get caught there. So I'm just gonna line it up right up to the cuticle and make sure it's all straight. And then I'm gonna press down. I'm gonna press down for a little while. I'm gonna kind of press on the sides, press on top, press over here, pressing down. Now, this nail has a little gap here. I don't know if you can see it. Barely, 
but it's not this, you know, covering my skin kind of thing. So it, it appears a little bit more realistic and more nice. And then there's a little tiny, sometimes they have this little, it probably comes off of the machine that makes them just a little bump there. And what I do is I just kind of file that down with this guy. This guy is the best because it doesn't damage any of the paint or the designs that come with the Dashing Diva nails. So I'll just get that nice and even and I'm done. That nail's done. All right, so let's do all the other nails. Take off the sticker. Go right up to the cuticle here. And press in the center. Press on side and side, center. And I'm just gonna, you know, lots of times I'll file at the very end all of my nails at the same time, but just so you get an idea. So I think this is an eight, pretty sure. That's my ring finger size. If you hear people yelling outside, that's not, that's the construction guys from today. Sorry about that. And then just get this guy right up to the cuticle. Make sure it's nice and straight. Press down. You don't want to be digging into your cuticle. Just up to the cuticle. It's very important. When I first started using these, I'd have a little bit of a gap and my hair would get caught and it would drive me nuts. Your hand is literally stuck in your hair. It's so annoying. Okay, and then I think this is a 10. I might need an 11. The bigger the number, the smaller the size. Oh, that feels way bigger. Which one is this guy? There we go. This might be an 11. So that guy, right up to the cuticle, but not digging in, not pressing in, just right align. You know, I don't know if you can tell since this is a nude color um, onto the cuticle there, but maybe next time I can show you with the actual colors. All right, now I'm gonna do my other hand. So I gotta find my sizes. I know I'm pretty sure the thumbs will be good. I think I feel a little big, but let's see what this guy, this is a probably a two. Um, yeah, I think that's a two. All right, so my other hand sizes. Let's see here. Just gonna have to guesstimate. That's definitely too small. That's probably a nine. Oh, it might be an eight. Is that an eight? I don't know. Uh, this could be a seven. That feels like a seven. Okay, we're gonna put this guy on. Don't like these is a this is a really old set when they first launched and they didn't put numbers on them. Um, and I don't like that because I'm sitting here guessing, but normally they have numbers on them so you can you know go a little bit quicker once you know your sizes. This guy is probably a seven, no a six. That's a six. This guy might be a five. That guy works. Even if he's not a five, it works. Whatever it looks like it, once you, you know, a really good idea on sizing yourself is keeping the backing on. Okay, let me push that guy down so I don't forget. Um, keeping the backing on, okay, so it's not sticky, I'm not losing the adhesive, and pushing down. Okay, that, once I press down and it's spreading out, it's too big. All right, so let's try this one. Press down, it's spread out, and I think it, it's good. It might be too small, but I'm not seeing another option here. That's probably the same size. Okay, so if I press down and it looks good, that's your answer because it's going to be pressed down. When it's, when it's not pressed down, it's kind of more arced, you know, more curved. And so if you, you know, then that's gonna look too small. But once you press down, I know I keep saying that. Okay, 
but that's the thing. It's very important. I feel like it looks so fake when they're huge and they're just covering, you know, they're, and then they're like digging into your skin and stuff. So that can't be comfortable. Okay. And then a pinky. Let's see. That guy feels big. This guy feels big. Hopefully this guy works. Okay, this guy. So when I'm not talking and showing, this process takes me 10 minutes, maybe even less. Um, but since I'm showing you and I'm talking, we're taking a good 20 minutes to do this. Um, but then, you know, they're dry. You can go do stuff. Just don't get your hands wet. Don't go do a set of dishes, you know. Don't go do a sink full of dishes. Don't go washing your hair, don't go take a shower. You gotta do all that before, or if you do need to do dishes or something, just wear dish gloves. Even like washing your hands, I know it's kind of gross, but that's, oh, this guy's way too big. That's not the right size. Um, but that's why I like to do these right before I go to bed at night, because, um, I don't know which size I am here. Then I don't have to worry about washing my hands and all that. It's, there we go. You know, do it right before you go to bed. Do it after your shower, after you brush your teeth, everything. Do it 10 minutes, boom, go to bed. Then you have nothing to worry about. You wake up in the morning and take a shower, wash your hair, whatever you want. So, there, there they are. There's the nails. I need to file a couple of them that I didn't file real quick just to kind of get that little, it's like a little tab, a little tiny bump off. I, yeah, I mean, I used to do gel nails. It would take so long. I used to paint my nails and they would take forever to dry and then they were chipped the next day. It was just such a waste of time. So annoying to do all that work so here, here's how they look. Now the nude colors are a little trickier because, you know, see-through. Um, but I feel like they did a great job with these. This was actually the first, no, second set of nails I purchased from Dashing Diva and I bought a few more. So they're the second set I wore. The first set was like a kind of peachish glitter thing. But anyway, I've been wearing these for like four years, ever since COVID, I believe. I'm gonna just take them off and put on new ones. And you can get at least, you know, obviously one whole manicure out of one set. They're like $9. But I have used, like lots of times, there's four of each size, except um, the thumbs. Actually, it's not true there's four of these sizes there's always f four sixes four sevens and four eights but there's only two tens and two elevens and there's only like you know one set of thumbs but sometimes i'll wear like a little bit bigger a little bit smaller on the thumbs and i can get you know two manicures out of the dashing diva set which means your manicure is four dollars and fifty cents but even if you just do one manicure out of the set and you don't like to change size and make it look a little different, then you're paying $9 for a manicure. And they have free shipping if your order is like $25 or whatever. And I always do the Cyber Monday deals or if you do your nails and you take pictures and you upload it and you do a review, they give you free points and so you get more dollars off of your nails and literally $9 for a manicure. Are you kidding me? $9. So, I can't stop raving about these. I love them so much. I used to do the Dashing Diva stickers, but I didn't like those because if I went to grab like a plastic bag, they would like push back and bunch up. And then I did do their gel lamp, it's like glow. And those were okay, but it took longer to put on, it took longer to take off. I love the press-ons, they're so fast, they're so easy and they protect my nails and my nails get longer and longer whenever I'm wearing these. 
So I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, thank you for subscribing. Have an awesome day. Let me see if I know how to turn this thing off.